The title of this piece is Convergence Commute Patterns. We are interested in this idea of convergence as a place where air currents or water currents meet and looking at the convergence of commuters coming in and out of a city every day. And that is very similar to uh, the tides of an ocean. Considering the abstract nature of my work, finding the right title is always difficult. Somehow, Diamond Grid led me to Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, the title of the famous Beatles song. This then allowed the beautiful poetry of the song's lyric to become an inspiration for the choice of colors and patterns I've used for the, to program the light sequences. The sequences reflect the light and buoyant mood of the song. A lot of the aesthetic decisions were made at the site during the programming of the installation. The idea came from uh, that these, what later called silent stream, comes out of or enters out of the roof of the building, yeah, of the station. That is kind of one reminiscence to what Jim said, that it was once concepted for the entire uh, uh, space, as on both sides. It's a construction of pixels, not to forget that, also that, that this creates an overall image by separating we counted more than 10,000 single elements. So the circles in this artwork are based on the density of commuters from the nine Bay Area counties coming in and out of the city each day. Um, so typical infographic or graph, the larger the circle, the larger the number of people. Um, we're really interested, this is an abstract piece, and we're very interested in the viewer bringing their own interpretation to this piece. Um, so these circles and lines might look like different things to different people. But for us, the artists, uh, it was uh, based very strongly on specific maps of the Bay Area. So the gray topographic lines are the topography, the actual topography of San Francisco. Um, so it's our um, hope that a, a viewer might walk along the roof deck and follow the topographies of the city um, and maybe even find places where they live or go to school or might visit later that day. Um, so they could see places like Ocean Beach or the tip of the Presidio or Hunter's Point or Portola um, and be able to find all of those places um, on this map. There's a lot of playful trial and error during this process by simply playing with colors, patterns, tempi and contrasting movements till it feels right. This work, or almost all of any, of any of my works, doesn't aim to see anything specific. It's more about a general sense of deeper perception and becoming aware of one's environment. It would be wonderful if the passerby would become aware how the artwork slows down time and makes this journey through a strictly utilitarian, underdone corridor a meaningful event. The different discs have different magnification of the viewers when you're looking up. So for example, some of them are what might commonly be known as a fisheye effect. Some of them would actually magnify the viewers. So you look up and you might just see your eye in one of the discs. And these are all mixed in along with the um, rippled ones that have a combination of sometimes magnifying and sometimes wide angling. And so when you move, you're moving very differently or when you watch other people move, they move very differently depending on the disc. So it's the, it creates this kind of chaotic uh, ripple as Bernard described, where the, the um, pedestrians become the water in the stream in a way. Because depending on the angle of the discs, and again, whether they're wide angle or telephoto, the train will become part of the movement on the, on the stream. This was the first time that we had worked on glass. And so anytime an artist works on a new material, there's a bit of a steep learning curve. So we had to learn about how translucent we wanted that material to be, how to layer the different imagery, how um, a mark or a line or a wash was going to 
um, how that was going to look on that surface, what was going to be different in the translation of um, the actual piece when it, was, when it was printed on glass. To watch people or talk to people as they respond to our work, um, because our work is abstract, with uh, some strong hints of, of source materials, whether that's a landform or a topography or um, a recognizable building or an engineered structure, a bridge, a tunnel, a canal. To have people um, tell us what they see in our work is always a fascinating and amazing moment. Uh, because people are always bringing in their own connections, their own conclusions, their own interpretations. And that is, and frequently it's something that we've never considered. So that's a really exciting um, part of what we do is that moment of viewer interaction when, when a viewer does start to, to make, to have their own um, interpretations of our work. And then you have to find that quiet spot in your mind where you can sit down and say okay technology just forget all of all of the little nuts and bolts now just think about being a user more or less think about being somebody who walked through the space think about somebody rushing at eight o'clock in the morning to to run to a, to a job how can i just talk to that person or a group of people obviously because sometimes people act in, in, in greater unities just as single people and then you have that to find that that quiet space in your mind to just sit there and play and sit there and play and don't think about okay it's now four in the morning it doesn't matter really. or it's whatever time you decide to program and then you come back the next day and do the same and, and then refine and refine and refine till you realize okay this is what i want to say some people like to are in a rush uh, to get out uh, to their appointment or whatever. The others are hanging out there and, and have them have 15 minutes to think about something. You, you never know. Uh, so, oh, but overall, it's an it's an offer the artwork to create a contemplative or meditative or an self-reflective, if you want, because you see yourself in connections in an unusual, I can say that, even that there were barely people now, uh, you see yourself in an unusual uh, connection to other people. And that might create communication. I don't know, that goes then in speculation, that's what I would say.